Hi, uh, this lecture is about the Yanomamo epidemiology lecture number three. The Yanomamo live in South America in the Amazon jungle along the border of Venezuela and Brazil. And they have not been influenced by urbanized populations, which makes them one of the best groups to study to get an idea of how mankind has been for you know many, many years in our earlier ancestral existence. Um, they're very physically fit and robust. They're able to carry heavy weights through the forest and jungles for many hours. And they eat an extremely low sodium diet. Um, they have about the lowest dietary um, excretion of sodium in their urine, about one milli equivalent in 24 hours of any population that's ever been studied. Their diet is primarily plant-based. A lot of uh, plantains like bananas, um, a lot of fruits, corn, um, some cassava, which is sort of like a sweet potato from as far as I can tell. Um, they do eat some uh, wild game and fish. Uh, no sodium, no salt added to their food. They don't drink any alcohol. Um, they have a very high fiber diet. And so their diet's also high in potassium. You know, potassium, P for potassium, P for plants. Any plant-based diet is going to have high potassium. Uh, you know, Richard Moore, the guy who wrote this book here, uh, High Blood Pressure Solution. This guy, he's an MD, PhD, devoted his whole life to studying the relationship between sodium, potassium, and high blood pressure. He estimates that the Yanomamo ate 20 times as much potassium as sodium. In order to have a normal blood pressure, it's estimated you want to have at least five times as much uh, potassium to sodium, preferably 10 times as much. On a plant-based diet, that's easy to achieve. Um, they had normal blood sodium levels of about 140 milliequivalents per liter. Their average blood cholesterol for a man, about 123. For a woman, about 142. Triglycerides were men, about 112 average. Female, about 110. They maintain the same blood pressure their entire life. In the men, um, that's about 100 over 60. In the women, about 95 or, over 60. And that's common in plant eating, primarily plant eating populations that don't add salt to their food. Their blood pressure doesn't change from when they're a teenager till they're in their 70s. In addition, their body weight doesn't change. Just, you know, if you're eating a healthy diet, your body weight should be about the same as a teenager as it is all the way through middle age and uh, later years. There was no obesity in their population, no hypertension in their population. Um, so that's pretty interesting for the Yanomamo. A couple things about food. Um, here's a sweet potato, one of the best foods in the world, and a pretty typical potassium to sodium ratio of about 10 to 1, 337 milligrams of potassium per serving compared with 35 milligrams for sodium. So about 10 to 1 on sweet potatoes. For blueberries, the ratio of potassium to sodium is about 100 to 0. When they say 0, it's probably something like rounded down from below 0.5. So let's say 0.4. That's still incredible. Probably about, you know, you're talking at least 200 to 1 is the potassium to sodium ratio in a fruit like blueberry. So you get tons of potassium relative to sodium in a plant-based diet with fruits especially. Um, and then here, just get an idea of a processed food. Here's some generic cereal. And the uh, ratio is now, it's flipped around. It's about zero milligrams per potassium. That's not a misprint. Zero milligrams potassium per serving in this typical cereal. 330 milligrams per serving of sodium. So that's how terrible processed foods are. Our ancestral humans, they probably ate, you know, at least 20 to 1 or more uh, potassium relative to sodium. And that's what we're designed to eat. That's how our kidneys are designed to work. They're designed to largely excrete potassium and conserve sodium. But nowadays, modern humans eating largely a sad diet, high fat diets, they sort of flip that ratio. A lot of sodium in food because number one, it tastes good. Number two, it's a preservative. Uh, so, and they get people to eat more when they put all that sodium in there. So modern humans are tending to eat very high amounts of sodium relative to potassium, as much as 10 to one or more, 15 to one potassium to sodium, and that's a big contributor to modern hypertension. And then here is a, um, some references, and, and you can find all of these on the internet. Some of them you can read the entire article uh, that all you know, had the same finding of incredibly low sodium intakes in Yanomamo, no hypertension, physically fit, active in the hot you know, Amazon jungles, 
So that's uh, Yanomamo. Interesting. That's, that's it.